Hi everyone. How many of you have a long flowing skirt and you would love to have it this much shorter? I'm talking about even from a wedding gown you need to do. The flowing skirts and dresses that we have out here on the market now are very full, but you do need to be able to hem them sometime and, and it looks real scary because it's a fine, fine, fine rolled hem. If you can see here, I tried to do it in white thread so it would show up somewhat for you. So that I have just got a little tiny, maybe a quarter of an inch turned over so that it's going to sew properly. Now sewing machines have had rolled hem presser feet since 40, 50 years ago, but no one knows how to use them. They're one of my favorite tools. I used to do alterations for people and could pick, charge anybody $30 to hem a dress because they didn't know how to do it. So it won't take you 15 minutes, but that's what you were able to do. So let's show you the trick and see if you like it too. The rolled hem foot is available for any of your sewing machines. So it has like a scroll down here. And what that allows the fabric to do is to twist and twist and hold it there till you can sew it down. Does it make sense? So you see this on everything. Go look at napkin edges in a restaurant. Go look at any of your clothing, anything with fine fabric. It's a great way to do it. The trick is getting started. So let me show you the trick. I'm going to put my foot on and I'm going to take my fabric at the very, very corner. Now, on most fabrics, it's going to roll, but some fabrics are tricky, 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 and they just aren't turning for you, and they're too soft. There's a product called Sullivan Spray, and it's a fabric stiffener, and it's the only product I would use. I would spray it right on that hem, and guess what? It's going to work like a cotton and just turn for you really easily. So it's something to make sure you check into is Sullivan Spray. Now, let's go and take a perfect little stitch in the corner. This is the trick of my fabric. So I've got my hem turned. I've got a corner. I want to go and take three or four stitches holding your threads. It doesn't matter if it moves a half an inch. It doesn't matter because you're going to see what I'm using it for. What I want is a handle. So what I have now is a variety of threads. I probably got three there that are holding the fabric for me. See what it's doing? So I have a handle to be able to take the handle and put it through my fabrics. I'm going to try to do this a little left-handed to see if you can see better. I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to let the, the thread, now look right there, the thread is going through the scroll because I'm leaving that as a handle and then I'm able to just let the material go in now here's where you need an extra hand, and you're going to put your presser foot down, and watch. I'm going to still hold on to my threads because you're going on nothing, you're starting on nothing. But now that it's anchored, all I want to do is to hold my thread up. Look at my fingernail. It's just giving it about a half an inch turn. So what my, I'm doing is stitching along, and my hem is being turned and turned for me. How sweet is that? Put your needle up, needle down button on and come on across so that you can see how your rolled hem is. The whole trick is how to start and how to end. There's people that are very professional sewers or have been sewing and quilting for a long time but are afraid of that foot. I really hope I encourage you to get a try on it and get it together. If you're doing a bridal gown, I just had to do one, and your, your trick is to sew, to rip up the seam on one of the edges. This is what they do professionally. So if you've got 120 inches, 300 inches to go all the way around, take your two seams. Here's my dress. Let me do something quick here to make you understand a little bit better. Couldn't do it to show you. So my dress, has got a side seam on it, right? So what my trick is, is when I started cutting my hem off, I cut my hem off the amount you needed, but then I let it take up the seam. This is the seam going up the skirt. Now I'm gonna go back down and put that together. 
when these seams are sewn, you start from the bottom because that has to be exactly perfectly and just do a little tiny edge. If you don't have a serger, a serger is a great place to use there. But what I'm going to do is to just put it in here and do my straight stitching and just be careful that those edges are going along perfectly and I've sewed my seam. What people try to do is to go over the seam allowance and that's double the width of the fabric. It's too heavy of a fabric to be able to go over that seam allowance. So we eliminate the seam allowance and sew it up the seam. You'll find this exactly like this in very expensive clothing. Now, if you had a serger, we would have surged that edge. If you don't have a serger, we will just do a little straight stitch in the zigzag. But do you see how it's able to finish, able to finish the edge for me and there's no bulk there? So the trick again is to cut out your side, your, wherever there's a seam allowance. Open that up about a half an inch. Do your rolled hem, do your rolled hem, do your rolled hem, sew your seam, seams down. A lot of things don't need it, but most long dresses, especially with prom season, that's what's needed to be able to do. So it makes a perfect rolled hem. You cannot do that any other way and get a fine edge, but do you see how the, the fabric needed just that very little tiny body? So it needed that rolled hem. So there's no other way to do it that really, really looks sharp. I hope you practice and try it. Get yourself a rolled hem foot and get it out and try my technique of putting a stitch in the corner. Don't give up. It's like riding a bike. As soon as you get it, you'll have it forever and it's worth it. I will also be showing you how to do an off the fabric blind hem next, which means eliminating of every place you'd ever have to hand sew. So keep, keep, keep aware and I'll show you how to do it. I love the next technique and I can blow everybody's mind because I know it's not out there any place and you're going to love seeing it. Hope you're looking forward to it. Go home and sew.